What's up, guys? Ice about here. Welcome to the Diablo Resurrected Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Istack. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like the damn video if you will. Subscribe to the page and pull that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. And may your finances be blessed, those who support me on uh, Patreon and the channel member thing. And may you have many wives, indeed. So here we are once again with the Barbarian that I've been using in my previous, I don't even know how many videos at this point. A Barbarian who specifically is using unique swords, many of which are complete ass. Right? So I'm double upping these things into Elite and trying things out, putting low runes in them, putting Zad runes in them. However, today, as you probably have seen from the thumbnail, what I am testing out is probably one of the best unique swords in the game. All right, Especially, which isn't saying much, of course, but especially... If you find the thing ethereal, which this is, head striker, which is often, uh, which is only found in a battle sword, an exceptional version of a broadsword. So what I did is I upped it into a conquest sword. So this thing is now elite, and as you can see here, with a level 89 character, I get plus 89 to maximum damage. So this is quite a hog of a sword. 137 to 286 damage. 150% enhanced damage, which I think comes standard with Head Striker. Then, of course, you get the damage based on character level, the max damage. And you get the Deadly Strike based on character level. And it doesn't take long for this to reach over 100%. So you don't need Deadly Strike on anything else at this point. Uh, with that being said, I got rid of my High Lord's Amulet, and instead I put on an Angelic Amulet along with an Angelic Ring for a 1,000 attack rating. And then I do have Mantle Heal for the Mana Leech on the other finger, or however you want to say it. Uh, it's a cheap version uh, to get Mana Leech, so yeah, some of this build is budget, <laughs> but most of it is not, because we're about to put a Zod Root in each of these. So there we go, I have Dual Head Strikers. The nice deadly strike, prevent a monster heal, plus 15 to strength, and ethereal. So, pretty cool style point uh, sword right here. Of course, the shit is not going to break, so it has that going for it as well. Laying of hands, 350% damage to demons, 20 IS, fire is 50%. And here's my resist on this guy, so they're not maxed out. Um, do I want to max them out? Let's put a couple more into natural resists. No, I don't think I'm going to max them out. Yeah, it'll be fine where it's at. But nonetheless, I have String of Ears Belt for the magic damage reduction, for the physical damage reduction, and for the life leech. Ghoul Riders, but of course, here's kind of a wasted stat on here. The Deadly Strike, because I already have it maxed out. But that's fine, I want them anyway for the crushing blow and the open wounds. And then I have Duress with the 40% fast trip recovery, 20% enhanced damage, cold damage, 15% chance of crushing blow, 33% chance of open wounds, some nice defense. All resists, so it's a hog of an armor. And then an Ariat's face Slayer Guard with a Baroon. So the on paper damage here for Whirlwind is 952 to 2043. Now, of course, the Deadly Strike, that's going to be roughly doubled. Uh, and then we have the Berserk as well, which I have maxed out. However, none of its synergies are maxed out. So I just maxed out basically Whirlwind and Berserk. Let's get the battle orders, the shout, and the battle command going here. Let's see how well he fares now. Oh my god. Oh my. One hitting everything. No, the demons anyway. Yeah, so a lot of demon damage here. Uh, of course, the zombies undead, and I don't have any undead uh, added damage on this character. Alright, so let's keep going. Into the pit, into the den of evil. I'm gonna go down in there. I've been testing out my characters at den of evil. Uh, some of you might want to talk shit about that. It's fine. Just do so in the comments below. 
Uh, but one of you actually said you kind of like the Den of Evil thing. I don't think it was being sarcastic. Because, yeah, it's nostalgic. Um, ooh, Shaco! Hot damn, does anyone want a free Shaco? Let me know in the comments below if you want a free Shaco. Uh, free Shaco here going once, free Shaco here going twice. So just let me know in the comments, and uh, uh, whoever comments that, uh, just comment it in the comment section, and uh, I'm going to do a random giveaway, alright? Get yourself a free Shaco. And this one has 125 defense. So not bad. Uh, just say in the comments, give me free Shaco, alright? And you'll be eligible. But yeah, the Den of Evil is nostalgic. It's, uh, it's the place you go at the beginning of the game with nothing but a club in hand to go and beat little devilkins over the head. And you just never know what you're going to get. So this is the reason why I like this place so much. It's just... It's just one of the best places in the game, right? And yeah, this guy's decked out, but you know what? He's gonna go there anyway. Uh, he's gonna go and kill shit. Actually, I'm gonna go look for Corpse Fire. Let's see if he has a unique. Yeah, but look at the demon damage. In fact, I'm looking forward to trying this against the Trav. Uh, the Council. What is its attack? Oh, my. Much better attack rating uh, compared to what I'm used to on this character. Look at that. Are you kidding me? So basically, 1,000 base attack rating equates to like 10,000 with all of his multipliers. Because without this ring, he's at 5,000 roughly. And then with the ring, he's at 15,000. Holy freaking toad. Uh, and that's a big deal. Yeah, attack rating is really important. And uh, especially uh, when you go to the higher level areas. So, yeah, I might, I mean, I might want to keep this more consistent. That's, that's the problem with going High Lords. As uh, you get some nice gains from it, but, uh, yeah, it just really sucks. Because you can't go with the Angelics with the attack rating. Of course, dual Angelics would be awesome on this guy. Uh, but uh, that's only going to be applicable when I have a sword or weapon or whatever that has Mana Leech on it. Because right now he just doesn't have it anywhere else. Ooh. Ceremonial Bow. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> GG. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Shaco contest though, however. Hey. Right. And uh, of course, blessings to my channel members and patrons. Really appreciate you guys. Some of you guys have been around for a long time. Uh, if you guys have been mentioning how PD2 is coming out, the uh, season, whatever it is at this point, 10 or some shit, I, I, I don't know. What season is it? I'm not really sure, but. Um, yeah, I might be trying to play that. I, I do got my little paw hurt. So it is a bit difficult right now to play with a broken paw. But I am, I am left-handed as well. But uh, I, I might try it a little bit. I don't know, when you're the summon Mancer, apparently the summons stay with you uh, throughout the game. So uh, Ishmael actually mentioned that in the comments of uh, my last video. So blessings to you, Ishmael. Uh, blessings to you, man, in all your endeavors. Alright, homie. I appreciate you, man. You've been around for a long time, commenting and shit on my videos. But here we go. What'd that do to him? Wait a second. Oh! I, uh, I do not have Cannot Be Frozen! Dumbass! Yeah, I, I didn't realize that. Here we go. I, I have the perfect solution, in fact. Uh, and it's gonna be a great solution for the Trav. I'll show you. Tyriel's Might. Over duress, so I'm missing out on the crushing blow, 15% uh, and 33 open wounds, but that's fine. But I gain 100% damage to demons. Do I have a burn? I do. Pop that shit in there. Now he has more damage. Look at this. He has eight on the helm, eight on the armor, uh, 15 on the um, on the belt. So that is 31% damage reduction, I believe, that I have on this character in total. But look at the style points. Now he has freaking Tyrael's Might on. And of course all these guys are demons. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at him just barrel through him. Just barrel through him, homie. Don't you die now. Oh, in fact, what I need... What am I doing without Taunt on this guy? That's, that's where I should have put a point. In fact, I think I do have a... Let's see if I have a point in Taunt. Yeah, this is not working out. Yeah, let's escape for a moment. Taunt. Okay, so F3. I'm gonna spin out of here. Let's get a couple of these guys coming after me. Yeah, just the... Uh, 
Of course, it doesn't work on the uniques. Look at this. It works great on the ranged guys. Uh, taunt is, is just a very nice skill. Uh, they do less damage. They just come at you, bro. And uh, that's that. Let's see what it does exactly. So, taunt. Uh, enrages a monster into relentlessly attacking. Only 3 mana cost at level 8. Target's attack rating, minus 90%. Enemy damage, minus 19%. Uh, there's really no information like how long does it last. Yeah, but taunt is very nice. Let's okay. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, what is it? Berserk this guy. There's a, there's a couple I could taunt right there. Let's get him to come. Yeah, look at that. Oh, a rude. Look at that. Just obliterates. Uh, yeah, these head strikers are quite nice. Obviously, you could get away with uh, non-ethereal and just put uh, whatever else in there, put something cheap in there. Maybe uh, whatever gives 75% damage to demons or the undead thing, I don't really know. Uh, doesn't pull, isn't pull demons and uh, then uh, eth or eld is undead, I think that's how it works, I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments you guys know which way it goes. But uh, let's let's try this one, one more time now in the Chaos Sanctuary. Let's see how well he fares against Diablo. Here's some bugs. So the bugs are uh, neither done, undead nor demon. So uh, not really fun killing those things. These guys are demon. Alright, so I'm going to make my way to the seals. And let's see how well he fares there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So having uh, a good attack rating is now helping me significantly. Uh, I might have to keep this consistent with these builds going forward in these videos. Uh, just basically this series of using shitty swords uh, with mediocre gear. Uh, you got to keep the stuff consistent, and I think I am going to try out Grandfather next. Uh, I would also like to try out an ethereal doombringer and I know they don't exist in the uh, legit realms uh, which is why I'm gonna have a little birdie bring one to me 699 defense because I think doombringer should be able to roll ethereal uh, I think uh, grandfather should be able to roll ethereal uh, of course both of which cannot but I mean their damage just sucks big you know what compared to the rune words they just don't compete at all uh, and even if they could roll Ethereal, you're still going to be using a Grief over them. Uh, you know, you're still going to be using a Breath of the Dying. So just let the damn things roll Ethereal. Alright? Okay? Uh, give me a hell yeah in the comments below if you guys are with me on that. I just think it's bullshit that they can't. And, uh, yeah, they definitely should allow for that. And uh, maybe make, like, a uh, unique Highland Sword. Because there is no unique Highland Sword, right? And there's no unique Conquest Sword. Uh... The reason I have one in my hand right now is because I up the damn thing from the battle sword. There's uh, there's a couple others I think. Actually, in terms of swords, there might not be. Oh shit! Oh no! Gee whiz! Let's try to get. Well, not, there goes natural libre. All right, we're just gonna get out of here now. Yeah, we're just gonna try not to die. Uh, head our way over to Diablo, see how well uh, I think he's going to go down quite easily. Oh, in fact, I should have been using Howl to scare uh, the trash away. Alright, last seal right here. Got them all. Alright, we'll see how well he fares against Diablo. Try whirlwind at first. Nice. It's quite effective. And now I'll try berserk, which I think is going to be even faster. Yeah, look at the damage it does when he does hit. Uh, but what's the chance to hit? 83% with berserk. All right, so. 
pretty effective, I would say. Head striker, upped, ethereal, and zotted. So let me know in the comments. What do you guys think about the sword? Uh, practically speaking, it's probably best suited for a mercenary because with the mercenary, you have very, very limited slots. So attaining like a high deadly strike is pretty difficult. Uh, but in this case, you can have a 100% deadly strike with a Frenzy Barbarian Mercenary. And then you can just put on other gear like Fortitude or Chains of Honor, uh, Andy's Visage or whatever. And uh, have a pretty GG Mercenary in that regard. But uh, nonetheless, I appreciate you guys. Uh, see you in the next video. And blessings to those who have made it this far. Again, if you will, like the damn video. And I'll see you soon.